store here and that's been torn down. There was another little uh, shop in here and that's been torn down. Welcome to Appleton, Minnesota. Like so many farm towns in America these days, it's struggling through hard times. But unlike many places, the citizens here figured out a plan for their salvation. The Prairie Correctional Facility, an ultra-modern state-of-the-art prison funded by private investors and the city of Appleton to help revive the local economy. You've worked at other correctional institutions yes. before. How does this one differ from other ones you've worked at? There are no inmates. Strangely enough, in these days of prison overcrowding, the Prairie Correctional Facility has been sitting empty since last year, unable to convince other states to send their overflow prisoners to Appleton. We've ran into some problems because of uh, uh, legislature and uh, money being appropriated. Well, it's a private-owned deal, they say, and we've got to get out of staters. Why do I think there are no prisoners? I honestly don't wish to comment on that. Right. The city of Appleton has a full-time staff scouring the 50 states in search of prisoners. But the country's recession has made it financially impossible for other regions to transport their inmates to Minnesota. There's some apprehension because yeah. it's like we have been waiting for these people for so long. I'm missing the one commodity we need, and right. that's, that's inmates. The idea of capitalizing on crime, the one surefire growth industry in America, seemed like the perfect idea. Well, more perfect than the others. Oh, we looked at uh, different types of manufacturing, uh, anywhere from pipes to telephones to circuit boards. Floor rugs or uh, uh, braided wall hangings. Everything from freeze-dried pets. Freeze-dried pets? What freeze in the world is that? Uh, they take a pet and uh, freeze-dry it. And For put what? It on to what end? To display it. Like a, a mouse or a, a gopher. We didn't want a nuclear waste dump, which the federal government tried to put up here in yeah. the in the Indian reservations. Meanwhile, in order to remain eligible for inmates, the prison sits fully staffed with all kinds of personnel, eagerly awaiting the day when prisoners will arrive to make their dreams come true. If you had a wish list of the favorite kind of prisoners that you would have here, do you have any particular kind you'd like to see here? Yes, old time murderers. This is David Harris, the chief security officer, uh -huh. who's been patiently waiting the past 14 months for the first prisoner to walk through Absolutely. the gates. Yeah, there's uh, washers and dryers in every housing unit we have in the facility so that the inmates a little more personalized. We've got the microwave ovens, the ice machines. Is it those ice cubes with the little holes in the middle? Small ones, yeah. Oh. I have been in a hundred correctional facilities throughout the continental United States and Canada, yeah. and I have never seen this design so, so this the, is real innovative, this, this. What uh, do you call this? Well, I guess uh, glass in the floor. I don't know. <laughs> Comfy. We're hooked up to the cable system. Now I have HBO and oh, really? Cinemax and Showtime. Calligraphy, beginning watercolor. One of the things that I've learned in talking to other people who have done program planning in prisons is that the arts are a really fun part of, of a think. program.